What's up guys, Jeff Cavalier, AthleteX.com. Today we're talking about losing weight, and more importantly, the wrong ways to go about trying to do that. Because there are some incredibly popular methods that I believe are an incredible waste of time. And I wanna make sure you guys realize that, but I'm not gonna leave you hanging. I'm gonna tell you what I think is the best approach overall to make sure that you don't waste your time doing the wrong things. All right, but before we dive into it guys, I want you to do one thing for me, and just check out these ab exercises over here. We got a basic crunch, a plank, then we have this one here that I've actually covered in a YouTube video before. It's a slick floor ab curl. Now, if you were able to do just one of these, which one do you think would have the best chance of giving you a six pack? I'm gonna give you a couple seconds. Now, you probably already should know within just those seconds that there's three major things wrong here. You know three things from just watching me. Number one, you know I don't really like planks. I'm not a big fan of them. I don't think they're hard enough. Number two, I actually did cover that one there at the bottom because I said it was a tremendous ab exercise. But number three, you should know enough about me to realize that none of these are gonna do anything to help you to lose weight, even my favorite ab exercise. You see, doing these ab exercises as your sole focus, ab only workouts, is one of the biggest, most monumental wastes of time you could possibly do. And this is coming from somebody that programs ab training frequently, that loves ab training. But a lot of guys have the, the, the notion, and a lot of times they're getting it from bad advice on YouTube, the notion that you can actually get rid of fat and lose weight by doing ab workouts. There's nothing that's going to happen in an ab workout that's going to allow you to lose weight. I don't care how many reps you're doing, okay? So the fact is, that is a bad, a poor approach. I can't tell you how many times I have people come to me and say, Jeff, what do I do? You're an expert. What do I do about getting rid of this? And before I can even start uttering what would probably be the best advice, they say, you know, what ab exercises? It's got to end here, guys. You will not be able to see your abs if you have fat covering them. So you need to have a better approach, which will lead people to this next scenario here, and that is cardio. So we know all the types of cardio, guys. People opt for things like this, like running, or maybe they'll jump on a bike, or maybe they'll even do some bodyweight exercises here, like a burpee, right? Some high intensity stuff. Are any of these going to be good for helping you to lose fat and lose the weight? Guys, I've covered this in a video before as well, and it needs to be reiterated again. This is a bad approach for a lot of different reasons. Let me take them one by one. If you were to start with running, which I don't advise as a beginner activity for somebody that's overweight because of the high impact. Generally, it winds up doing more harm than good. If I got on the bike, I'm at a lower impact for sure, but my intensity is too low. And most of the time, I can't really generate enough of a calorie burn to make it significant. Or if I go down to the burpee, which in our past video here, Jesse actually showed you, it's the one that actually gives you the biggest bang for its buck, gives you about 15 calories per minute, but good luck trying to do extended minutes of burpees. You're lucky if you make it past five or six. So what we're left with is this idea that trying to keep up with our calorie burn through conditioning alone is almost impossible when you realize that that's only for an hour of your time in a day. If you devote an hour to doing your conditioning, what are you doing in the other 23? And that's because that's the most challenging. Eating the right way is the most challenging thing. Eating one slice of pepperoni pizza can undo an entire workout that you've done there through any type of conditioning that you just did. That's not good. And even if you add in the whole you know, epoch effect and extra calorie burn, it's minimal, guys. We're talking about 10%. This is not the way to go. Cardio in isolation is a bad choice, but yet that's what many people will start doing here in an effort to try to lose weight. But it does lead us into that other method for losing weight and losing body fat, and that is through nutrition. And notice I said nutrition, because the problem is, and the biggest mistake is dieting. Now guys, I've covered this many, many, many times before, but I'm gonna say it again because it needs to be said here, and that is dieting does not work. I don't care if the diet has earned a name. The South Beach diet, the keto diet, I don't care what it is. I don't. It doesn't matter. It's the fact that it usually is put into conjunction with the word on. You are always on a diet because at some point you're gonna be off a diet. You cannot be on a diet. You have to be eating as a, as a way of life. It is your lifestyle. It is the form of eating that you've adopted. Now, if that be keto, or if that be the South Beach diet, but it's something you can do and do sustainably, over time, forever, then it's good for me. If it works for you that way, it works for me, but it better be something you can stay consistent with, but taking a dieting approach is one of the worst ways to attack this. Permanent weight loss comes from adopting an eating style that you can live with that doesn't revolve around deprivation, that's not requiring you to skip foods that you actually enjoy, right? making you hate eating, that's not gonna work. 
So dieting is off the table. Finding healthy nutrition is on the table. Now you're probably saying, all right, we're down three methods here. What else can be bad here? I know you, Jeff, you are the weight guy. I can tell by your biceps, you're the guy that wants to lift weights. I, I'm gonna agree. I do like lifting weights. But not all weightlifting is equal. I mean, here's a few exercise options right here to reveal that. These are all involving weights. The first one here is a thruster. This one here, it's a clean. And this one here, this is a concentration curl. Now, can you tell me that these are all equal? If I said, hey, you got one choice to do one of these in an effort to lose weight, which one would you pick? Now again, if you watch this channel regularly, you probably say, I know Jeff likes to train athletes. The clean is probably the right choice. And honestly, I would say I love the clean. However, as someone that needs to lose weight, as someone that's just beginning to try to you know, make these attempts to lose some weight, the clean's probably a bad choice. You see, I have far too much respect for the skill that goes into the Olympic lifts like the clean and the precision that's needed in order to do it correctly. You're more likely to hurt yourself and do this incorrectly than you are, let's say, some of the other options. But of the other two, one sucks and one's actually really good. And I can bet you would imagine the one that's good is the thruster. It's a compound movement. It's athletic, your feet are on the floor. You can push some significant weight here. You're working lots of muscles to do this. The concentration curl is more of the same. It's more of you sitting on your ass, doing an exercise, single joint, that just works your biceps. Right, so there can be some poor exercise choices. It's not just going and lifting weights. Just showing up at the gym and lifting weights is not going to cut it. You need to apply a smarter level of training and exercise selection in order to have these, this approach be beneficial. So all these things come together here, and you think, well, what, what's the solution? I'm getting right to the solution here. And you probably said, yeah, I knew Jeff was gonna say, his programs are the answer. Guys, actually, that leads me to the fifth point here, and that is, it's not necessarily my program, although this is what I do better than anything. I really believe that this, the combination of all these elements is what, I, is what I've been trained to do my whole life. But if you bring, and this is number five, the same mindset into the same or even a different approach that you've taken before, but it's the same you that's failed in the past, you're going to fail again. That is one of the worst things you can do when you're trying to lose weight. You have to change what's up here. You have to change the you that you're bringing to that. And guys, if this is, it happens to be made, I'm publishing this video right about January 1st. I have a statement about this, guys. Resolutions, don't make resolutions, just make it happen. It comes down to making sure that when you decide, I'm gonna do something different here, I'm gonna make a change, I'm going to lose weight, something has to change from the last time that you attempted this and failed. And if that means trying a new program, if that means uh, allowing yourself to use one of the programs that I've created because you have confidence that it's gonna work, great, but make sure that you don't bring the same mindset the first time you hit struggle, because I'm gonna work your ass hard. The first time you hit struggle, you don't quit. The first time you're a little bit sore, you don't quit. The first time you have one slip up on your nutrition plan, you don't quit. You gotta make sure you're, gonna, you're ready to stay the course and continue this throughout the duration of your plan. And I promise you guys, it's gonna work. And when it does, it will work forever. So I hope you guys found this video helpful and truthful. In the meantime, guys, if you're looking for those plans I mentioned, they're all over at athletex.com. You can find the one that's matched up to your exact goals because I know that people come into this with different goals. But the fact is, if you're looking for weight loss, we have programs for that as well, and certainly nutrition plans that support that. If you found the video helpful, though, leave your comments and thumbs up below. Let me know what else you want me to cover. I'll do my best to do that for you in the days and weeks ahead. And if you haven't already, guys, make sure you subscribe and turn on that notification so you never miss a new video when it's published. All right, guys, we'll be back here again soon in just a few days. See you.